Hello, my little brilliant learners. It's Spirit Week, and today is Crazy Wacky Hair Day. How did I do? Can you guess what I am? You're right. I'm a leopard. What do you think? So today, for our read aloud, we are going to read nonfiction. That means it's real. Today we're going to read about leopards. Maybe there'll even be a panther in our reading. What do you think, panthers? Let's start. This is called The Wildlife Explorer. And inside, there's lots of different pages that tell you about all kinds of different wildlife. This page says, leopard. Look at this really cool picture. The leopard relies on stealth and surprise to catch prey. What is prey? Oh, that's what the leopard eats. It's another animal that he catches and eats because everything has to eat, right? So that's what prey is. The leopard relies on stealth and surprise to catch prey up to twice its own size and weight. The leopard's rosette splashed, molted coat helps break out its outline while hunting in the dark. Although its hunting success rate soars on nights when there is no moon. So the leopard does a better job at hunting when it's very dark out, when there's no moonlight. When a leopard catches its dinner, its prey, it stalks it. It springs by surprise. It drags it up a tree and it stores it in the tree to eat again later. So the leopard is one of the only animals in the world that takes its food up in the tree. Look at these incredible pictures. It's a very beautiful animal. Eyes. Like all cat species, the leopard has excellent eyesight. Its night vision may be six times better than that of humans. So the leopard can see six times better than we can. Coat. That's his fur. The spots are bold, dark rosettes upon a paler base color. So dark spots on lighter fur. Coat patterns and colors vary widely among leopards from different regions. So the spots on a leopard can change depending on where the leopard lives. Tail. The tail provides balance. The leopard walks with the tip raised, showing the white underside. This may help keep contact with the cubs. Teeth. As in other cats, the leopard's short but well-muscled jaws give it great biting power, helping the long pointed canines stab through flesh of the prey that the leopard is eating. Because remember, everyone has to eat. Pause. The leopard walks silently on its padded paws, so you wouldn't even hear him coming. The retractable claws grip prey and are also used for scratching trees to define territorial boundaries. It's very cool, and here are some different patterns of different leopards. In this book, Mammals by Time Life, There's a page that has leopards on it, 
but it says jaguars and leopards because there's another cat called a jaguar that looks very much like a leopard. It's also a big cat. Ready? The jaguar on the right and the leopard here look and act somewhat alike, yet they live worlds apart. The jaguar's home is Central and South America. The leopard lives in Africa and Asia. Both animals have spotted coats, but the dot patterns differ. The jaguar has a thick body, massive claws, massive jaws, and a short tail. The leopard's body is sleek and graceful. Its jaws are, are narrow and its tail is long. Being lighter, the leopard also climbs trees more easily. They both have been hunted for their fur and are now endangered. So if an animal is endangered, there's not many of them left. So it's our job to learn a lot about them so that we can help make um, the world a better place so that they can um, survive and be healthy and make more. We want all the animals to live and be happy, right? So let's learn some more about leopards. Here is a pattern of a jaguar and here is a pattern of a leopard. Can you tell the difference? A black panther. <gasps> the animal above, sometimes called a black panther, is in fact a leopard. It looks black from a distance. Close up, however, faint spots can be seen in its dark coat. A single litter often includes both black and spotted leopard cubs. So when a mommy leopard has cubs, some of them look like this and some of them look like this. So whenever you see a black panther, if you got very close, you would see that it's a black coat with darker black spots. That's kind of cool, huh? On the next page, there's another large cat called a cheetah. And a fun fact is the cheetah is the fastest mammal on earth. I hope you enjoyed learning about leopards today. And I hope you liked my crazy wacky hair. I think you are brilliant. Keep learning. I love you.